Now when I wrote Pythagorean theorem in these, these formats, I did so deliberately because we can get a bit smarter and write it in a process format like this. Okay? Or a procedural format if you like. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. And we can put that straight into a calculator. If A is equal to 9 and B is equal to 5, then C is equal to the square root of 9 squared plus 5 squared, which is, and we can just put that straight in the calculator. 9 squared is 81, 5 squared is 25, 81, 25, 106. The square root of 106 is a little bit more than 10. 10 point something. Now I talked in uh, the order of operations about putting this in the calculator. The minute you write the square root, the minute you press the square root button, you're going to get a bracket here. And then you're going to put in 9 squared plus 5 squared. And it doesn't matter whether or not you close the bracket. And the minute you hit the equal sign, the calculator will close the bracket for you. It second guesses you. It assumes that you want all of this to be under the square root sign. And so we're just going to straight away get our answer of 10 point something. Let's do one of the Pythagorean triples. If A is equal to 8 and B is equal to 15, we know that this is going to be an 8, 15, 17 triangle. Okay, so C is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 15 squared. 8 squared is 64, 15 squared is 225. Add them together, you get 289. The square root of 289 is 17. And if you put this in your calculator, hit the square root button, you'll see the bracket, 8 squared plus 15 squared, good habit to close the bracket, but you don't have to, hit equals, you're going to get 17. So what we've done, instead of going right back to first principles, we know that to find the hypotenuse, the longest side of the right triangle, we square the two legs, we add them, we take the square root. So this becomes, this becomes an operational or a procedural formula for the Pythagorean theorem. On this side, if we want to find a leg, we've got a squared is going to be b, uh, sorry, c squared, c squared minus b squared. So a is going to be the square root of c squared minus b squared. So we've got a right triangle, and we know the uh, hypotenuse is 13, and we know this side is 12, and we don't know what this side is, we'll call it a. So a is equal to the square root of c squared, 13 squared, minus 12 squared. So a is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared. And this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle, one of the Pythagorean triples. And again, the brackets will appear and we'll get the answer 5. Okay? So if you're looking for a, the hypotenuse, you're going to square the legs, add them, take the square root. If you're, look, you're looking for one of the legs, you're going to square the hypotenuse, subtract the square of the other leg that you know, then take the square root. There you go. Piece of cake.